thanks y'all for being here for the first webinar of 2023 brought to you by Texas Realtors Commercial Committee. I am very pleased to introduce a friend, the Commercial Committee Vice Chair, Dr. Paula McDonald. She's our featured speaker for today's webinar all about downtown revitalization and its impact from an economic development standpoint. She will also briefly discuss the process and resources available for having successful revitalization projects. I am um, going to go through three main processes or three main divisions, and that is to identify the project or the property, then you've got to investigate, and then the fun starts, and that's where we implement. That is the first big You've got to get in there and get to know the people, the commerce, what's what's happening in that city. What is the tourism, if any? So being in commercial real estate, you guys have the advantage of knowing and understanding the existing real estate market in your area. And if you don't, that's where you start. As you know, you've got to dig in and find out what is available, the historical implications, if any, the condition, of course, and the potential investment and renovations that are going to be needed. And that's probably one of the most difficult is to determine, because if you've done any projects, you know, when you rip something out, we don't know what's behind that wall. The other part of identification is to ask the questions. What businesses would this community need? What would thrive here? Because you can look at a great old structure or building and think, oh man, this would be so great for a furniture store. But in a little bitty tiny community, that may not be the right fit. So now we're going to go into the CSI part portion, which is the investigative part. And this is really very, very important, especially for us as real estate practitioners. So it's important that you start to investigate the potential environmental and structural issues, because one of the things we've been faced with both of these projects is asbestos, mold, foundation, structural, and roof. And they're different than they are in the residential market. Also part of the investigation are looking into if the city has any development requirements. So you do have to look at the established historical marker situation it's because when you have an established historical marker, now you've got, if it's a state or a national marker, there are different guidelines that you have to follow to keep that building I mean, they'll tell you that there's certain things you can and cannot do. And so that does change the game a little bit. And so it's important when you're working with your investors to point that out. So part of your investigation is then to also, obviously, unless you just have lots of cash, is being able to seek a, any kind of assistance that's out there. And that can be obviously through private banks or your local banks. So the first steps of implementation are, as you guys know in this business, and a lot of people sadly miss this important step. But if you, even if you have cash people um, or you have people who are needing to go in for financing, obviously a bank is going to require a business plan. And um, that is essential. You just cannot do this project with out going into a good business plan. And there's a lot of people out there that can help you with that. We can offer assistance with that too. And then of course, to set a budget. I think this is the hardest part because there are so many unknowns in these old buildings that you don't know what's gonna stop a project. And then of course, you've got to acquire the property and then have a good timeline. And again, in these small cities, it is very hard to, um, that's another thing you need to establish is if you're there, you need to join a local builders association and get to know the builders and their contractors 
get to know the contractors. Um, but getting to that finish line is overcoming the obstacles. The biggest obstacles that we found are the ones dealing with your um, city, the city councils, the PNCs, all of those types of people are the ones where you're going to get the most roadblocks, the city inspector. And so one of the things to help you get to that finish line too is enlisting the community, get them involved, get them to come out and help open these doors with a big celebration. Anyway, it's um, such an honor to be able to visit with you all. I'm, as you can tell, we're passionate about what we're doing and we want to help other communities. So if you need me to come, you just tell me, give me a call. I will, we'd love to come out and we love to look at projects and give our, put our eyes on it and help other people um, see their dreams come true. Because by doing this, you guys, we really are taking a resource that's there and just not developed and putting new life into these communities. And so um, super fun. I'd love to help you.